It was nearly a hundred years before the Romans returned to Britain. In 43 AD, Emperor Claudius sent three legions under the command of Aulus Plautius. The force landed at Richborough, built a temporary fort which became their principal port during their years of occupation, and then struck inland. This Claudian invasion marked the beginning of over 350 years of Roman rule. In Rochester, because it was a strategic route between Dover and, and London, they built a bridge to cross the river and they built a fort to protect that bridge, Dora Brivai, the stronghold of the bridge, and that is where the name Rochester comes from. And at an old Iron Age settlement by another river crossing, Emperor Claudius had established Roman rule and renamed the town Duravernum Canticorum, today's Canterbury. In Butchery Lane, a Roman museum has been established, where the ground plan of a Roman townhouse with mosaic floors was discovered. This glass bottle from the first century AD was used to hold cremated bones, and it still does. They were no more cruel than, than anybody else throughout history or society, but once they had established themselves in the area, certainly the um, indigenous population benefited from the peace that the Romans brought because they established the Pax Romana in Britain, which fostered trade, which fostered enterprise and, and fostered the development of a settled society. Dover Castle towers over these famous cliffs today, but 2,000 years ago the Romans also recognized the strategic importance of this location and erected a pharos. The octagonal pharos is built of flint and rubble and encloses a chamber 14 feet square. At the top, a fire was kept burning at night so that the flames could be seen far out to sea. One was also built on the western heights and another on the cliffs of Boulogne and these three lighthouses guided the Roman galleys across the short sea passage. Dover is a, um, a valley, a valley of the River Dower, and in Roman times it was a very wide estuary. There was a, a Roman fort established with a, a vicus, um, uh, a civilian settlement uh, around it. And then from here, um, roads stretched inland um, towards London, uh, towards Richborough, and off towards Folkestone as well. There's a lot more to be found in Dover. For example, there are, there are remains of uh, painted buildings. Since most Roman houses were built of wood which quickly rotted, few remain. Of those that have been found, an outstanding example of domestic architecture is this exceptionally well-preserved Roman painted townhouse. Along with a section of late Roman fort wall and defensive bastion, it contains an hypocost, an elaborate Roman underfloor heating system that even in today's society would be considered very sophisticated. They would have built um, classical sort of rectangular forts and uh, with it, within that then they would have had um, first of all a garrison and then as they pacified the region so these forts were developed into, into major towns, administrative areas. Dover, then known as Debris, was just one of ten major forts built to guard the main harbours and estuaries from Teutonic pirates and Saxon barbarians. Each had a garrison and a detachment of the fleet, Classis Britannica, based in it. They were known as the Saxon Shore Forts, and along with Dover, there were three more built in Kent on an important waterway. The Wansom Channel separated the Isle of Thanet from the rest of Kent and allowed shipping to avoid hazardous seas and cut through up into the Thames for London. Rutupaya, Richborough, was built at the south end of the Wansom and was the headquarters of the Count of the Saxon Shore. Stadville Castle was located at Portus Lemanis, Lim. Its ruins lie scattered over a steep hillside overlooking Romney Marsh. In Roman times, the sea would have come right up to the fort and I could just imagine the Roman galleys at anchor. The fourth fort, Regulbium, Reculva, at the north end of the Wansom Channel, suffered a reverse fate. It was once a mile from open water, but steady erosion has eaten away the coast and more than half of the fort has been washed away by the sea.
They left because um, the, the, the heart of their empire, Rome, was in danger. The Roman Empire had become very corrupt. Um, a lot of infighting had go, gone on. And the legions were, were literally withdrawn from Britain to defend Rome against the, the barbarians, the Huns and the Goths. They left a little bit of a vacuum because the armies of Rome, the, the, the police force, the defence, had gone towards the end, of, middle end of the 4th century. The, the Roman legions were, were taken away from Britain. And the legions were also removed from Gaul as the intensity of the attacks on Rome increased. Both sides of the channel had enjoyed Pax Romana and both were now vulnerable. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.